hello student welcome to all of you in the next physics lecture now we have to see here the video number 41 and uh, chapter number 6 the superposition of the waves myself rajesh lagad physics teacher now in this chapter we have to see here the next point is the equation of stationary waves this is the very very important and uh, first we have to see here the how the stationary waves are the produce yeah what is the production of uh, stationary waves we have to define here the stationary waves when the two exactly identical progressive wave when the two exactly identical progressive wave that means these two waves having the uh, same amplitude speed and the wave length these two wave having the same amplitude speed and the wave length then these two waves that is the exactly identical progressive wave traveling through the medium along the same path along the same path that is the positive direction of the x-axis traveling through the medium along the same path but exactly in opposite direction but exactly in opposite direction and then interfere with each other then the stationary waves are the produce how the stationary waves are the produce in such a way that when the two exactly identical progressive wave that means these two waves having the uh, same amplitude speed and the wave length these are nothing but the identical progressive wave traveling through the medium along the same path but exactly in opposite direction and then interfere with each other then and then the stationary waves are the produce then we have to find here the equation of the stationary waves this equation of the stationary waves we have how we can find out for that purpose we have to consider here the two simple harmonic progressive waves and these two simple harmonic progressive waves which can be travels along the same path along the positive direction of the x-axis but exactly in opposite direction and these two waves in the form of the displacements are as follows and there are nothing but the y1 is equal to a sine 2 pi t by t minus x pi lambda and these are the same but exactly in opposite direction therefore instead of this sign minus in next displacement we have to take here plus therefore y2 is equal to a sine 2 pi t by t plus x pi lambda these are the two simple harmonic progressive wave which can be travels along the same direction along the same path but exactly in opposite direction the travels along the same path that is the positive direction of the x-axis but exactly in opposite direction y1 is equal to a sine 2 pi t by t minus x pi lambda and y2 is equal to a sine 2 pi t by t plus x pi lambda then the resultant of these two displacement which are given by we know that y is equal to y1 plus y2 addition of these two displacement then substituting these two y1 and y2 we get y is equal to a sine 2 pi t by t minus x by lambda plus a sine 2 pi t by t plus x by lambda that means a sine 2 pi t by t minus x by lambda plus a sine 2 pi t by t plus x by lambda these are the two simple harmonic progressive wave travels along the same path but exactly in opposite direction because here minus and here plus that are the exactly in opposite direction then by using the trigonometric relation we know that the sin c plus sin d that is nothing but the two sin of c plus d by 2 into cos of c minus d by 2 by using this we can this uh, equate this equation in such a way that y is equal to as by using this formula 2a then sin of 2 pi t by t into cos of 2 pi x pi lambda that means this minus x by lambda plus x by lambda it should be cancelled and the remaining term 2a sin 2 pi t by t when we can subtract this c minus d by 2 then t by t this term should be the cancel and instead of this we get simply cos of 2 pi x by lambda these terms adding and cos of 2 pi x by lambda therefore you remember this by using this trigonometric formula sin c plus sin d 2 sin of c plus d by 2 into cos of c minus d by 2 therefore y is equal to twice a sin of 2 pi t by t into cos of 
2 pi x pi lambda. Now, to make this equation easy, we put here the 2a into cos of 2 pi x pi lambda is equal to a and this is nothing but the resultant amplitude and substituting this value, you can trick remember this 2a and this cos 2 pi x lambda, this should be the uh, in the curly bracket and then we can remember this instead of 2a and the cos of 2 pi x by lambda, we can substitute here the capital A that is the resultant amplitude and therefore substituting this value, we get y is equal to a instead of 2a and cos 2 pi x by lambda, we can substitute this capital A, a sin 2 pi t by t or when we know that the 1 upon t reciprocal of the period is nothing but the n that is the frequency therefore y is equal to a sin 2 pi n t. This is the uh, equation of stationary wave. Uh, these also represent the resultant motion in SHM. This equation is known as a, a stationary equation of stationary wave or the standing wave because these waves do not move along the left or the right, moves in a, a forward or the backward direction and uh, these terms the 2 pi x by lambda it does not contain and so that this equation is known as equation of stationary wave or also known as the standing wave. Now we have to see here the how the, the nodes and anti nodes are the form by using the condition the amplitude of this stationary wave it should be the maxima or the minima. First we have to see here the case first that is the condition for node. Then we have to take here the amplitude of this stationary wave is minimum then this resultant amplitude we have to substitute here 2a cos of 2 pi x lambda is equal to a. It should be minimum that is a is equal to 0. If it should be maximum, then it should be is equivalent to the plus minus twice a. But when the this amplitude of this stationary wave is minimum, then amplitude is very, very uh, small at the a is equal to 0. Therefore, we can substitute here instead of a, we know that this a is nothing but what? 2a cos of 2 pi x by lambda. 2a cos 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0. This 2a take this side 0 upon 2a is equal to 0. Therefore, simply cos 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0. Then the value of this bracket cos of 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0. Then which value of this 2 pi x lambda gives the value 0 so that where this 2 pi x lambda is equal to pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2, all the all integers we can take in here is instead of this 2 pi x by lambda, then we get the 0, okay. Then, the, what is the value for this x at that time, we get this pi by 2, 3 pi by 2, 5 pi by 2, 7 pi by 2 dot dot. Therefore, the value of the x at that time is equal to lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4, 5 lambda by 4 dot 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 so on. If you have to substitute, for example, x is equal to lambda by 4, you have to substitute here lambda by 4, then lambda and lambda get cancelled, then uh, they take the simplest form 2 to 4, then here is remaining term is the pi by 2, okay. Then x is equal to this lambda by 4. If you have to substitute here this 3 lambda by 4, then you get 3 pi by 2. You substitute here 5 lambda by 2, 5 lambda by 4, then you get the 5 pi by 2, okay. By substituting this value lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4, 5 lambda by 4, dot 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 so on. Therefore, this x is nothing but 2p minus 1 into lambda by 4 instead of this lambda by 4, 3 lambda by 4. We can write here the x is nothing but the 2p minus 1 into lambda by 4 where p is equal to this 1, 2, 3, not or so on. Okay. Hence, the distance between this two successive nodes where when this amplitude particles are vibrated, when its amplitude is minimum, that means its displacement is equal to 0 at that time these two points are situated at that point which are known as a node and the distance between two successive nodes is equal to lambda by 2. Distance between two successive nodes is always equal to lambda by 2 because at that time the displacement of that particle is equal to 0. They are vibrated with the very uh, least amplitude that is equal to 0 so that these points are nothing but the node. Then we have to see here the case second, the condition for this is nothing but the anti node. We have to see here node and the case second is condition for the anti node. Then amplitude, when we have to hear this amplitude is maximum, 
the particles are situated at this point they vibrated with the maximum amplitude which is nothing but the anti node and at that time when the amplitude of the stationary wave is maximum then the a is equal to plus minus 2a because this is the maximum displacement and this uh, distance is nothing but the plus minus 2a therefore instead of this a we can write here 2a cos of 2 pi x by lambda is equal to plus minus 2a then this 2a and this 2a rhs and lhs 2a 2a get cancelled and remaining this plus minus 1 therefore cos of 2 pi x by lambda is equal to plus minus 1 and again instead of this bracket we have to take the value which gives the plus minus and minus 1 plus minus 1 then this bracket where 2 pi x by lambda we can substitute here this bracket 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi all these integers in terms of the 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi 5 pi dot dot so on then we get this uh, cos this 2 pi x by lambda is equal to plus minus 1 okay then by substituting this 2 pi x by lambda is equal to 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi dot dot so on at that time the value of the x is given by first here is 0 then x is equal to 0 0 into something 0 then we have to get the pi by 2 but at that time we have to substitute here x is equal to lambda by 2 substituting this x is equal to lambda by 2 lambda by 2 lambda lambda get cancelled 2 2 get cancelled simply remaining term is pi again you have to substitute lambda here lambda lambda get cancelled 2 pi is 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi dot dot so on. in this way we have to obtain this value by substituting x is equal to 0 lambda by 2 lambda 3 lambda by 2 then the values of this bracket cos of 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi 4 pi is equivalent to plus minus 1 and then for we uh, generally we have to write here x is equal to p into lambda by 2 where p is equal to 0 1 2 3 dot dot so on and this also the distance between two successive anti node that means when the particles are vibrated maximum displacement maximum amplitude then this distance between two successive anti node is equal to lambda by 2 but at the same time the distance between the node and its an adjacent anti node is equal to lambda by 4 distance between node and an adjacent anti node is equal to lambda by 4. In numerical, you can use this condition. Distance between two successive node or anti node is lambda by 2, but distance between node and adjacent anti node it must be equal to lambda by 4. Remember this. Now, if you have to understand this equation of stationary wave, we can stop here. Thank you.